Syria, did tonight's speech help President Obama boost support from his own party? Democratic strategist Joe Trippi joins us. Nice to see you, Joe. Good to be with you. Boy, how did the president who ran against the war suddenly become the war president? Is it like some say it's uh, where you stand is, uh, well, how you stand is where you sit? Uh, partially, but again, I mean, he made that case tonight. He said repeatedly during the speech that, uh, you know, he'd been fighting the whole four and a half years to, to end wars, not start one, wasn't really interested in doing one now, is much more interested in diplomacy. So I don't, I don't see how the speech helped him um, with the, the left in the Democratic Party uh, and a lot of anti-war votes in the Congress uh, to, to move to his side. I, don't, I mean, first of all, there isn't going to be a vote now, as you, if you pointed out, but is, is sex, this, I don't really think he away? moved anybody with that. With that. If, I mean, is this, if there's going to be no vote and there's no date for vote, no timeline for vote, this, does this just become sort of an endless discussion? No, I, look, I think, I think part of the problem here is what's Russia, what is Putin doing? Well, Putin wants, Putin wants Assad to stay in power. That's in his interest. So sooner or later, this is all going to go, not going to work anyway, because he's going to try to do, you, you, Assad stays in power, we'll take the weapons, but you leave Assad alone. I don't see how the president can do, can do that. I mean, uh, our the, president can do yeah, that? Yeah. I, I mean, the first, this is where this gets at, at odds. The first thing he said two years ago was Assad has to go. Now, now the deal would have to be, I would think, Assad stays, we'll get, we'll get him to give us, give the weapons over to internationally, uh, put them under international control, you leave him be. Uh, now, and, and so part of the, the other thing I think that's going on here is there's so many audiences a modern president has to speak to today. He has to make Assad believe I'm really coming. So you think about giving those weapons over to the international inspectors. At the same time, have Congress think it's not going to be that big a deal. That's why you see these two sort of uh, uh, the straddle in his speeches and what the administration's saying. I think he's got to try to do both. That's what he's been doing for two years now. Well, he, he has predicted many times that Assad's about to fall. Assad's about to fall. That's been going on for about two years, and he hasn't fallen. And I'm a little bit. I'm curious whether or not you know the U.S. truly does want. Assad to fall based on the fact that we don't know who else is out there and we've got the Mubarak example and even the Gaddafi example is that these horrible people that run these countries is at least we know who they are and we oftentimes can control them or minim or somehow you know back them into a corner on things so I'm, I'm curious I mean you know we, we've made no effort to get rid of Assad and I think that's because there's been growing al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups moving in, in to destabilize Assad and there's no there's no way of knowing who gets who gets control of the weapons uh, when he falls and and that's part of this because the international community at some point if he falls and they're falling in the those weapons are falling in the terrorist hands then you do have to do what happened in Iraq and have 150,000 troops on the ground um, to get those weapons and make sure they're not, they don't end up somewhere. And I, I, I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying, but th this is where this is, th to, to be having to carry this, diplo both diplomacy and the big stick, both at the same time. Um, and with, it, what's interesting to me is that the dictators, they don't have to worry about public opinion. No, they but do not. But in a democracy, a world a, a leader has to worry about his war war weary nation, and how you well, how, plus he's how also you said maneuver. He, plus, he's also pretty much said he needs authority from Congress, although he has said that he doesn't need authority right. from Congress. But he has he's a little bit said that. But so those members are 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 motivated by award war, mm -hmm. war weary voters too. So the dictators can do what, what they, they want, want when the world is weary of this stuff. And I think it's a very tough place for a president to be. Joe, thank you as always. Thank you.